Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show, coming to you from the Firebase Summit in Prague. Now, all the sessions are recorded and available online, but that's a ton of content to sift through if you just want the highlights. So here you are, the Firebase Summit top five. First on the list is deploying to Firebase hosting from Glitch and StackBlitz. These are two powerful web-based IDEs. Now, the demo Rob gave for this was really cool. He loaded up a project on Glitch and added a Firebase.json file. The Deploy to Firebase button just appeared, and he clicked it and selected a project. And just like that, his Glitch project was running in prod. Now, these integrations are both based on the new Firebase Management API, which lets you create and manage Firebase projects and apps. Second on our list is enterprise-grade support for helping large and complex enterprises adopt Firebase. If you already use Firebase's free support, don't worry, it's not going away. This actually adds support for Firebase to Google Cloud Platform support. So if you already have a paid GCP support package, Firebase is now included. They're ramping up now with plans to launch in beta by end of year and general availability early next year. Okay, number three, Firebase Predictions has graduated out of beta and into general availability, which means it's fully stable and available for production use. For those who don't remember, Firebase Predictions applies machine learning to your analytics data to create dynamic user groups based on your users' predicted behavior. So you can do things like segment users based on churn or likelihood to spend. Also announced today was that predictions data, along with Firebase cloud messaging and A-B testing data, can be exported to BigQuery so you can run your own custom analysis of your data and join it with other data sets. Also graduating to general availability is number four on our list, Firebase Test Lab for iOS. Now, Firebase Test Lab is cloud-based app testing, and it's pretty awesome. You can test an Android or iOS app across a bunch of devices and configurations and then see logs, videos, and screenshots in the Firebase console. Derek mentioned today that nearly 100,000 successful tests have been run over the last several months, which, along with a few other factors like support for iOS 12, is a great indication of it being stable and ready for production use. Last on our list, and one of my favorites, is a new Face Contours API. It's part of MLKit, which means it's meant to be easy and accessible for all mobile developers, whether or not we have ML experience. The API is essentially a more advanced version of the Face Detection API, giving you over 100 points in and around the face, which means you can know where things like the face contour are, the eyes, eyebrows, the mouth, where all of them are located, which can be super useful for apps that want to have advanced filters that center around the person or people in the photo. All right, that's it, our top five at the Firebase Summit. Of course, there were a lot of other announcements and updates, so links to the full keynote and session videos are in the description below. <laughs> if you found this video useful, click the like button, hit subscribe, and share with your friends. If you do, we'll do some more of them. Deal? And if you got some more questions or you want to see something else, let us know in the comments. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> and if you want to see, if, you have, if you've got ugh, more questions or want to see something else, let us know in the comments. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show, and I'm going to see you in the next take.